A Bradenton couple who traveled to Cuba brought back the Zika virus, why officials are saying not to worry. And a Sarasota man accused of fracturing a three-year-old skull receiving his sentencing today. Plus, a defendant going to trial and a Bradenton couple's murder will not face the death penalty if convicted. Your Suncoast News starts right now. Live from our studios on Florida's Suncoast, this is ABC7 News at 11. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening, I'm Jacqueline Matter. Thanks for joining us. Our top story tonight, the first locally transmitted case of Zika in Florida this year has been reported and it happened here in Manatee County. Health officials say a Bradenton couple who traveled to Cuba were both infected with the Zika virus. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us live from the Manatee County Health Department in Bradenton with more. Rick. Yeah, Jacqueline, this really hits close to home, but officials say there's nothing to worry about. It makes me pretty nervous because uh, it's a really serious issue. James Mitchell just found out about the Bradenton couple who recently contracted the Zika virus. It's the first reported case in Florida this year. Health officials say a woman was infected following a mosquito bite in Cuba back in late August. Then a mosquito in the backyard of the Bradenton home bit her, then her partner, transmitting the Zika virus. Mark Latham, director of the Manatee County Mosquito Control District, tells us folks around the Sun Coast don't need to be too concerned about this. We're we're right at the end of the mosquito season. This particular species of mosquito that transmits the disease is really a tropical mosquito, and we don't see um, populations are dropping rapidly now. Officials say because of HIPAA law, the exact location of where this happened can't be disclosed. The Mosquito Control District inspected the area, then had a fog truck come into the neighborhood. When it was confirmed on October 6th that it was Zika, a helicopter was sent in to spray the area. Bradenton resident Mildred Long says because of all the mosquito control work the county does and the awareness of her neighborhood, she's not concerned with the Zika case. All my neighbors have been diligent about walking around the houses and seeing that we don't have standing water. And so uh, I'm not too worried right now. We're being told the couple is doing fine. They did have some mild symptoms similar to the flu. For James Mitchell and his partner, they say they are now going to be a little more proactive when it comes to using bug repellent. You just never know. Like it's, I know it's like one in a million, but you never know if it could happen to you. And if you do have any questions or concerns regarding the Zika virus, you can log on to our website at mysuncoast.com. Reporting live from Bradenton this evening, I'm Rick Adams. Jacqueline, back to you. All right, thank you, Rick. A follow-up now on a Sarasota man accused of fracturing the skull of his girlfriend's three-year-old daughter. A sentencing hearing was held today for Nicholas Ritter. He's charged with aggravated battery towards a child. According to the girl's family, Ritter is sentenced to 12 years in prison. He was arrested last September after bringing the girl to Sarasota Memorial Hospital and telling staff there that she fell. Doctors then found bruises on the child's chest and back, fractures on both sides of her skull, and a laceration on her chin, all injuries consistent with blunt force trauma. Ritter has been dating the child's mother for over a year. And a Holmes Beach man is charged with murder and child abuse after a toddler in his care died. In August, police were called to a home on Peacock Lane in Holmes Beach where they found 17-month-old Luca Shorley unresponsive. He was taken to the hospital, but two days later he was declared brain dead. Doctors found Luca's injuries were consistent with child abuse and notified law enforcement. After an investigation, 31-year-old David Vickers was charged with second-degree homicide and aggravated child abuse. Detectives determined Luca had been physically abused by Vickers on several occasions. The last of three defendants slated for trial in a Bradenton couple's murder will not face the death penalty if convicted. Jimmy McNear is charged in the murder of Cantrell Brooks and Esther Denuse in July of 2015. The couple's five children were all inside the home at the time of the murders. Now, last month, Trey Nanombre, another suspect, was convicted of murder, as well as Therese Jones, who took a plea de deal. McNear's trial will begin on November 1st. If you'd like to stay up to date on the latest local news, we're proud to announce our new ABC7 My Suncoast News app. If you're an iPhone or iPad user and currently have our news app, you'll want to go to the App Store now and download WWSB ABC7 Tampa My Suncoast. It's completely free and provides the most comprehensive news coverage for Sarasota, Manatee, Charlotte, Hardy, and DeSoto counties. If you're an Android user, don't worry, you'll get the new version 
updated automatically. Well, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan for a look at your first alert forecast. Bob? Thanks, Jacqueline. Right now we are watching some rain uh, down to our south mainly and along the east coast. Not much going on here. That frontal boundary located to the north is just about done. It's uh, evaporating for the most part, fading away, if you will, and some showers down to our south associated with a weak low pressure system in the upper levels of the atmosphere. But what it is doing, it's starting to increase our moisture content in the atmosphere, which will give us a little bit better chance to see a few scattered showers and a possible thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. But for the time being, the rain is staying down to our south right now. And there's a few inland showers that uh, are possible into Highlands County, but not much going on here right now. Currently, we have a generally fair skies, a few clouds, still pretty warm for this time, 79 degrees, and the dew point temperature is at 72. The humidity, same as the temperature, and winds out of the east-northeast now at 8, and the pressure 2997. That is rising ever so slowly right now, and that high-pressure system uh, is located to the north of us. You can see this upper-level low continues to spin around here, but it's weakening and will eventually just kind of fade out and work its way off toward the southwest in time, but most of the dry air is uh, really leaving our region. We're seeing a little bit more moisture returning, but not much. Uh, so a better chance for showers comes Saturday as a result of this increased moisture coming up our way. Now, for the time being, expect a, a chance for scattered showers and storms throughout the afternoon on Friday and not much else going on in the tropics here anyway. Boy, big news with the storm out in the Atlantic. Some historic making storm out there. Uh, it is now at 105 mile hour winds. Could become a major storm. And it's never been done before this late in the season and this far east in the Atlantic. More on that coming up a little bit later. Back to you, Jacqueline. All right, thanks, Bob. Aber Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam spoke to a Senate committee today about the impact of Hurricane Irma on Florida's agriculture industry. Putnam estimates Irma caused $2.5 billion worth of damage to Florida's farmers and ranchers. Those estimated losses to Florida's citrus crops and trees approach $760 million, while the state's nursery industry suffered more than $620 million in losses. He says the state is looking at catastrophic losses for all its commodities. The losses are staggering. Uh, in many cases, the tail of those losses will be multiple years. So the impact to citrus trees, the impact to cane that's laid over, the impact to infrastructure that will be years uh, rebuilding. Putnam even added that the storm affected him personally, saying his family's orange crop was shaping up as the best in years until about half of that fruit was lost to Irma. Beyond crops, the state's cattle industry damage assessment was nearly $240 million, and the hit to the dairy industry is estimated at around $12 million. Federal health officials are dropping a Florida nursing home from the Medicare program after 14 patients died during Hurricane Irma. On September 13th, eight residents died and others were evacuated from the sweltering rehabilitation center at Hollywood Hills. Six more have since died, which attorneys say was a result of the conditions and evacuations immediately after that storm. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services said in a statement that the facility will be terminated on Friday due to their failure to meet Medicare's basic health and safety requirements. A spokeswoman for the home says they'll appeal and then look forward to showing evidence that their actions were consistent with all state and federal rules. Well, that sign known for welcoming people to the island of Key West has been found. The iconic Welcome to Key West sign that greeted visitors on US-1 disappeared last month during Hurricane Irma, but recently turned up in Fort Myers Beach. An unidentified couple dropped it off early on Thursday morning. The sign, along with supplies, will soon be delivered back to Key West, where it belongs. While well, dancing, drinks, and a sea of pink at the 12th annual Key to the Cure event at Saks Fifth Avenue at the Mall at University Town Center. The event is held each year during Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and this year's theme was a party with a purpose. It all benefits the Sarasota Memorial Healthcare Foundation, specifically women's cancer programs at SMH. An incredible event to make everyone aware how important it is for us and for patients with breast cancer to do everything we can to help them and really make it something that's, you know, in everybody's mind. To date, this event has raised more than $1.3 million. 
Straight ahead, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with your first alert forecast. Plus, as the impact on last month's hurricanes fade, fewer people are seeking unemployment benefits. And firefighters still struggling to contain the fast-moving blazes in California, with many of the fires continuing to be out of control. It's a dangerous habit. Texting and driving kills thousands each year. Join ABC7 and take the No Text Zone Pledge. Hi, I'm Melissa with Venice Toyota, encouraging you to help us keep the Sun Coast safe by making the pledge to not text and drive. Save a life, stop by Venice Toyota today and take the pledge to not text and drive and register to win a $100 gift card to Capitol Grill. Take the pledge, save a life. Go to mysuncoast.com for more information. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Are you currently on Medicare? In other words, do you carry the red, white, and blue Medicare card? If so, are you suffering from chronic back pain? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost, shipped directly to your home for free. These medical-grade back braces are ideal for lower back pain, arthritis, spinal disorders, and other chronic back problems. Our accredited staff will handle all of the Medicare paperwork for free. And best of all, your brace is shipped directly to your home for free. Don't let chronic lower back pain slow you down. Get moving and stay active with a medical-grade back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost. We also accept Blue Cross Blue Shield, United Healthcare, Aetna, Humana, and other insurance. Will you qualify for a medical-grade back brace covered by Medicare? Find out for free. Call Back Brace America at 1-800-715-0835. That's 1-800-715-0835. 1-800-715-0835. Check out My Sun Coast Dining on MySunCoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Sun Coast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySunCoast.com slash dining. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Bob, it was a little nicer out today than it was the past couple days. Not so hot. Yeah, the mornings are a little bit more comfortable. Lower dew point temperatures are starting to feel a little comfortable. But, uh, you know, we'll take whatever we can get <laughs> after this long, hot summer that we went through. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've got a, a big month. You talked about it earlier in the news store, uh, newscast there about Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we have a special program going on all this month. Real men wear pink. That's the reason why I'm wearing pink tonight. The pink tie, pink shirt. You may not be able to see that at home, but it is. Uh, American Cancer Society obviously doing wonderful things to help out. Fundraising for early detection, prevention, groundbreaking research, and patient support, which is really all that important. I need you to help me out and uh, actually help out everyone who uh, gets diagnosed with breast cancer. It's a terrible disease, and my wife has gone through it over the last two years. Uh, to no, to donate, go to Facebook, search at Suncoast WX, or just go to WWSB Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan and pledge your support. We have about 24 other guys in town trying to raise money for this cause. Doing our part in Real Men Wear Pink, I'll have something on MySunCoast.com too before this newscast is over, so you want to go there as well. Casey Key showing the pink sky right there uh, for October as well, and we had some nice photos sent in, and get a look at this. Down in Inglewood, another shot of some Pink there, some clouds uh, off in the distance. So this was sent in from Allison Horton. Appreciate that from Inglewood. And uh, Cindy Desmond always sending some great shots into the jetty there. You see off in the distance, the sun just setting 
uh, and a little bit more clouds around tomorrow we are anticipating due to a low pressure system that's uh, continuing to drift off to the west. No real uh, sign of it uh, developing into anything significant at this point. And I think it'll just give us enough uh, instability in the atmosphere along with enough moisture to produce a few scattered showers and some thunderstorms on Friday and into the weekend. We're now looking at a cold front though coming down to cool us off anytime soon. It'll be a little bit cooler, as I said, in the morning hours, and especially uh, looks like midweek next week, maybe back down to normal. Normal high for this time of year, right around 86. Not much rain out there uh, currently along the Sun Coast. We'll see a little bit better chance for some showers tomorrow afternoon and evening. I think most of it should be over by game time for the football Friday night. 79 on the temperature now, dew point temperature 72 when the winds are out of the east northeast at 8 and the pressure 29.97 that is rising ever so slightly and, and so is our temperature uh, today. 89 degrees, uh, that was uh, again well above the average of 86. Our normal low is 69 and we were pretty close to that this morning at 70. It's been a dry month, but a very wet year at 61 inches and two tenths. Our forecast tomorrow does call for sunshine throughout the morning, showers and a few scattered thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon uh, with the possibility of some lightning, not a lot, and I think more so on Saturday. And you can see the future cast indicating those showers popping up around 1.30, 2 o'clock. Most of it should be over by 7, so hopefully the games will get in. And also Saturday, more showers and storms developing in the afternoon. I think a little more widespread on Saturday as more moisture moves into the weather picture. And looks like uh, Sunday, pretty much the same story. This is an incredible story. You know, this whole season has been unusual, very active. Well, this is now at 105 mile hour winds. We've never had a hurricane this strong, this far east and north in latitude ever recorded. And this one is now still gaining strength, even though the water temperatures are marginal at best there. And it continues to move off to the east, a very slowly east-northeast movement. The problem is that it could get up to major category status. It's unlikely, but there's a chance it could. And then head off to the northeast. Now, even though it won't be a tropical system, we're talking winds up to 70, 70, even 80 miles an hour into Ireland, possibly even over to England on Monday and Tuesday of next week, as it will be a significant storm there. For us, uh, we'll stay in the warm sector, and it looks like a chance for a few showers and a few storms. For boaters tomorrow, it uh, looks like this. Northeast winds 10 to 15 knots, some moderate chop, and seas running again 2 to 3 feet. So a little windier tomorrow, water temperature at 83 degrees. And the tide's upcoming in the next low tide at 1, 632 for the high tide. And the forecast checks in like this. Partly cloudy, warm, and some patchy fog. Tomorrow, a good chance for showers and storms. Rain chance at 50%, mainly in the afternoon. That rain chance stays high and elevated through the weekend. Captain Johnny is back after a long time being off. In fact, it seemed like the whole summer, but he hasn't missed a beat. Here's more. Well, now that the storms have all gone away and the seas have calmed, Johnny's back along with his wife see to see if he's still got it. Using some greenbacks we caught, we fished some nearshore reefs. Been away on vacation. It's like I never left. It's <laughs> still here. And the fishing stayed fairly active the whole morning with the captain fishing the bottom and Joanne working the surface as they score this nice double. Nice snapper. There's one snapper in the boat in the hizzy. Here's Joanne battling. She got another big spanning mag. Spanning mag. Guess who's back? Yes, Guess who's back? back. <laughs> Tell us, friend. These fish are fun to catch as they just rip the line out when they're caught. And you can tell the captain hasn't missed a beat being gone so long as he kept reeling them in one after another. Well, I'm fishing on the bottom here, catching, oh, that's a sea bass. Catching sea bass and mango snapper and little grouper and Joanne's fishing on top. She's catching the mackerel and she's got another one. <laughs> it was nice being out on the water again and taking in the sights and sounds and oh yeah, getting a little fishing in as well. Oh, whoa, dude! Buck choking, buck. It's diving, it's diving, it's diving. They do put up a good fight and are fast. Make sure you have plenty of hooks as they can cut your line quickly. And as the captain says, women and children always seem to do the best when it comes to fishing. This big old mackerel out here today. Really great to be back home and catching fish. All right, hey, remember, take your kid fishing because someday they may take you. They may take you and absolutely great. Great to see him back there. This is Captain Rick Grasset. Grasset, that's not him. It's actually John right there catching that. Nice big snook and another nice big trout right there. Kyle Ruffing uh, getting that one. And Captain Brian Marcy from Breakwater Charters uh, having some good success with snook right there. Appreciate the photos. And we want to tell you once again that the snook shindig is now moved to November 3rd and 4th. And the children's fishing thing is again 
uh, coming up uh, a couple weeks from now. And we also have the Coastal Conservation Association banquet right there for you. So lots going on and the fishing is still very hot. Yeah, a tip uh, my mom used to tell me when I was a kid and she would take me fishing to kiss the bait. I heard of that before. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It was kind of slimy, kind of kind And no gross. bananas on the boat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, and moving on, it looks like there is the Florida legislature finding itself not only dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Irma, but also the impacts of Hurricane Maria. The legislature's chief economist, Amy Baker, says Irma's damage is forecast anywhere from 25 to 46 billion dollars. The state has already allocated over 140 million in recovery costs, with the largest expense being 36 million dollars for debris removal. Officials are also trying to assess how the influx of residents from Puerto Rico to the state due to Maria will affect things. More than 32,000 people have arrived in the state since October 3rd. And as the impact on last month's hurricanes fade, fewer people are seeking unemployment benefits. The Labor Department reports weekly applications for U.S. unemployment aid fell by 15,000 last week. The number of people seeking unemployment aid in Puerto Rico also fell. Although that may reflect ongoing power outages and other damage that has made it harder for people to apply. Four days after wildfires ripped through much of California, people are still fleeing their homes. ABC's Liz Herr has more. From above, the devastation is mind-boggling. Block after block of charred ruins of what were once family homes. In Santa Rosa, this is all that's left of a Catholic high school as firefighters do everything they can to prevent even more neighborhoods from turning into this. And I built 30 years of my business and I'm not letting a fire take it. So we're going to clear everything out as much as we can. The threat from the 20 plus fires still burning, testing firefighters, hacking at the brush, then back burning in Sonoma. The backfire will take away the fuel bed, creating a, a larger buffer along this roadway. On the front lines, firefighters dealing with thick smoke and tough terrain. And here in Santa Rosa, where we are, there is devastation just about everywhere you look. Cars, furniture, and homes just burned to the ground. At this point, among the only people allowed in this neighborhood are teams with cadaver dogs searching for those people still missing. We have found bodies that were almost completely intact, and we have found bodies that were nothing more than ash and bones. With more than 250 square miles already burned, entire cities remain evacuated. I can't pack the whole house up. I'm just praying to God tomorrow we come home and the house is still here. And the road out choked with cars. I can't believe this is really happening. We've never been in a situation like this. Some heading out, even leaving sprinklers running on the roof to try to save their homes. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, Santa Rosa, California. Well, sports is next, but first, here's Jimmy Kimmel. If anyone asks, here's what we've been doing all day. What I would like you to do is go in your kids' rooms, grab all their fidget spinners, and send them to this address, the White House, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. At Tidewell Hospice, we know it's never too late to say thank you to our military veterans. The Tidewell Honors Veterans Program has provided care to more than 13,000 military families since 2008. Tidewell volunteers help honor veterans through special pinning ceremonies that demonstrate our appreciation for the freedom our veterans fought to defend. If you know a veteran who can benefit from end-of-life care, call or visit Tidewell.org today. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window.
you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Buy more, save more. Volume discounts on four or more windows. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. Medicare's annual election period has begun. If you already have Medicare, new benefits may now be available with no co-pays, no deductibles, or zero dollar premiums. Call now to speak to a licensed insurance agent who can help guide you step by step through a free analysis of the benefits available to you. And you may be eligible for plans that even include additional coverage for dental, vision, and prescription drugs. MedicareAdvantage.com searches thousands of insurance plans from leading insurance companies. We'll We'll help you find plans that may cost you less, cover more benefits, and give you more choices, like home delivery of your prescriptions, gym memberships, and even over-the-counter allowances for everyday needs, like antacid, allergy medicine, vitamins, and even toothpaste. Don't miss the deadline to enroll. It's time to get more out of Medicare. Call 800-314-8605. That's 800-314-8605. 800-314-8605. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. Now, sports. The final division series game of 2017, the Nationals tied things up with the Cubs last night after game four was initially rained out on Tuesday. As of right now, in the top of the seventh, the score is nine to six for the Cubs. Some Thursday night high school football tonight on the Sun Coast. The Bayshore Bruins beat the Hardy County Wildcats tonight eight to seven and Bradenton Christian beat the St. Stephen's Falcons 49 to 16. And the Tampa Bay Lightning taking on the Pittsburgh Penguins tonight at Amelie Arena. In the second period, the score is 4-3 Lightning. Slater Cuckoo of Tampa Bay comes out of the penalty box, steals the puck, and a nice passing by the Lightning gets him the goal. The Lightning brought the win home tonight 5-4. That's a look at your sports. We'll have tonight's winning lotto numbers when we come back. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Christmas Traditions by Lux Art Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by Lux Art Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. If you you have Medicare, I have three things you'll want to hear. There's an all-in-one Medicare Advantage plan from Humana. It includes Medicare Part D prescription drug coverage, and it may save you money in so many ways. It's all in this book, and it's yours free just for calling. You'll see all the ways the plan might save you money, even on prescription drugs. In fact, last year, Humana Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan members saved an estimated $6,500 on average on their prescription costs. And you get all this coverage with an affordable monthly plan premium, and in some areas, no plan premium. Even if you've looked at Humana before, you need to take another look at this plan. We'll send you the decision guide absolutely free, in a slightly smaller size, of course. Discover the all-in-one Medicare Advantage plan that could cut your costs and cover your prescriptions. Call 1-800-824-8241. Or go to HumanaBigBook.com. The savings are too big to miss. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. 
for a comfortable night's sleep with same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today. Sleep on it tonight. Keep up with the Sun Coast. Watch your favorite ABC7 shows on your streaming device. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. The Florida Lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios. Bob, will we be waking up to a, a nice morning tomorrow like we did today? Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Upper 60s, low 70s. It looks as though we will. Uh, we won't see the rain, I think, until later in the afternoon and evening. It'll be scattered, too, Bob. And it looks to be uh, pretty warm still, though, in the afternoon, upper 80s for highs. All right. Thanks, All right. Bob. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow night.